Hello guys, welcome back to Pick the Best Ones. In this video we are going to check out the top 5 best road bikes under $500, ok so let's get started with the list. Starting at number 5, we have the Roadmaster 26? Men's Granite Peak Men's Bike. For a price of around $100, this Roadmaster Granite Bike has some of the best value to offer on the market right now. It features a strong steel frame. Yet, the bike feels incredibly light and sturdy. What we also love about this bike is its color. You'll get a granite colorway basically, that's a black finish all the way around which resists dust and dirt really well. Built right on this bike is an 18-speed Shimano twist shifter and derailleur. To change gear, all you have to do is twist the grip. Thanks to this speed adjustment, you can ride the bike over all kinds of terrains unpaved paths, dirt roads, or mountain tops. The bike does excellent every single time. We don't find the seat very comfortable, though. The cushion does get softer over time. However, the packaging was really nice. The bike can support up to 250 pounds. Also, the hand brakes are super easy and intuitive to use. For us, this baby was a breeze to assemble. For some, they may need a little extra help. Overall, this is a great bike with reliable performance. You seriously can't find anything cheaper with such quality. Check out the description for more information about this product and latest price. Moving on at number 4, we have the Eurobike Road Bike EURXC 550. Our first impression looking at this baby was, OMG. Wouldn't you agree, it just looks so darn cool. We love it. For a minute, we were thinking, are you sure they're selling this bike for under $500? Because this would be a bargain, folks. Together, let's check out the specs with us. Featuring on this beast are Shimano A050 shifters, a rear Shimano TZ50 derailleur, and a front Shimano TZ30 derailleur. All of them together gives you 21 speeds in total. You'll find the shifters right on the stem. This design also features two bullhorn drop bars that are very professional looking. They claim that assembling the bike may take around 10 to 20 minutes. But, we don't really think so. What you need to do is install the pedals, the wheels, handlebar, seat, seat post, and pump the tires. If this sounds like a lot of work, take the bike to your local bike shop. Indeed, you can only activate the warranty if you get the bike professionally assembled. In a nutshell, money well spent on this one. We highly recommend it if you want both style and performance. At number 3, we have the Gravity Avenue A. This bike is more suited towards general fitness and commuting rather than racing. The reason being that the semi-compacted geometry of the frame puts the rider in a relatively upright position. Racers will want to be lower on the bike. However, serious racers are probably not looking at road bikes in this price range. A 7-speed cassette 14 gears in total also hints that this bike is for commuting. While this is by no means a small range of gears, it is less than would be expected on a bike intended for big rides with big climbs and descents. The drivetrain itself is mostly made up of Shimano components, with the exception being the chain, which is by KMC. Everything rolls on Alex Rim's DA 18 wheels and double wall tires. Both are entry level but fine for commuting. The wheels in particular have a noticeable flex. When it is time to slow down, C Star brakes do a good job. They are not top performing brakes but can slow you down fast enough in traffic. The aluminum frame is very comfortable to ride, mainly thanks to the relaxed geometry, but also the hydroformed aluminum used in its construction. The semi compacted geometry has a lower standover height and allows the bike to be fitted to a broader range of people. You should have no trouble tuning this bike to your preferences. At number 2, we have the Windsor Wellington 2.0, he vibrant yellow color of this bike really makes a statement and ensures you stand out on the road. Those looking for a more stealth look can choose the black frame. Apart from the color choice, the Wellington 2.0 looks like it is ready for some serious action, which it is. This is a well-spieced road bike that is more than capable of taking you on long tours, short commutes, or anything else in between. Double-butted aluminum 6061 is used for the frame. This alloy is light and strong and the double-butting saves weight where material is not needed. A chromoly fork offsets some of the frame's stiffness and absorbs road vibrations. The entire drivetrain is made up of good quality Shimano components, as well as a KMC chain. 
You get 21 gears, which is the standard range to support you on any ride. You have easy gears for spinning up big hills and faster gears for blasting down again. In between there is a gear for every road and situation. To slow down, the Wellington 2.0 comes with dual pivot rim brakes. While these brakes have good performance, the included brake pads are not so good. For commuting and city use they are good enough, but if you want to ride down long descents, you will probably want some more power. Fortunately, brake pads are a cheap upgrade. The Wellington 2.0 rolls on strong but not light double-walled wheels and quality Kenda tires. Overall, the Wellington 2.0 is a great bike for recreational use or more serious tours. The 21 gears and Shimano components provide all the range and quality you need for any kind of riding. A brake pad upgrade may be called for if you are into big descents and the wheels could also be replaced to gain a bit more of an advantage. Out of the box however, you get a more than capable road machine. And finally at number 1, we have the Schwinn Focus 1600. Schwinn is a well-known bicycle brand that has been making high-quality bikes since 1895. The Focus 1600 offers you remarkably good value for money and is an excellent beginner's road bike. As is the standard on bikes in the price range, the Focus 1600 has a light and stiff aluminum 6061 frame. It is surprising to see a carbon fiber fork at the front. Carbon components are usually only seen on bikes costing much more. You will enjoy the superior vibration damping from this fork, as well as the weight savings it offers, the wheels strike a good balance between being strong and light. Double-walled rims ensure that the wheels will not collapse if you accidentally hit a pothole. They may be heavier than other rims but the liberal spoke lacing design offsets this, albeit at the sacrifice of a bit of overall strength. As long as you do not deliberately crash into potholes or against the curb, you should have no problems with this wheelset. The included tires are quite narrow and have a hard compound, so you may wish to replace them with a wider set for a more comfortable ride. A Shimano Claris drivetrain is a great entry-level drivetrain. Keep it tuned correctly and you will enjoy accurate shifting between the 16 gears. The microshift shifters are integrated with the brake levers so you can reach both at once without moving your hands. While it is possible to enjoy riding a road bike without integrated shifters, anyone serious about their cycling uses them because of the comfort, safety, and ease of use that they offer. Braking is taken care of by Promax Alloy Dual Pivot Caliper Brakes. The included pads are quite hard and will not slow you down as fast as softer models. Although the Focus 1600 is perfect for anyone looking for a high-quality bike to enter the world of road cycling, there is one potential downside. It only comes in one frame size, 56 cm. If you are of an average height, it should fit you just fine. Shorter riders or women may want to look at the women's version. Taller riders will have to look elsewhere. Thanks you for watching guys. I hope you liked this video. If this video is helpful to you, please make sure like, comment and subscribe. If you have any question related to this product, you can leave a comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as possible.